Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Jean d'Arc. Alright, so... We're gonna do something a little differently. Uh, looking at the map, I, I realize there's something not quite right about the map, uh, at least in the guide. So, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna play safe. Because I, I know something bad is getting ready to happen. So, um... We're gonna reposition our troops before we, we deal with killing killing him. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna waste a couple of turns to get uh, Leanne uh, not there. <laughs> uh, really, uh, just for for shits and giggles, we are going to make sure she is not there. So we're gonna end turn because the the that guy not gonna bother us too much. So, alright, that should be good, and let me, no, I need to get there, and that should be enough to take him out. Alright, so, this is where the fight's going to get fun, and by fun, I mean obnoxious. Because you're like, oh, you got 20 turns to do this? Okay, well, that's done in half the time. But, we've killed everyone. We did it. Now, onto the castle. Enemy reinforcements. Yeah. That's why we didn't want Leanne there, because she would be dead. Wait, the battle's not over. No, the enemy are too great. A Paris militiaman. Charles VII has betrayed us. Kill the King's Slattern and all her minions. Alright, so now we get this level of bull. Alright, so we're gonna throw out a sky dart on you. Because I really don't want to deal with two magic users coming right up in my face. Like, that's just gonna be a whole lot of... I don't want to deal with you. Um... Really? Your attack- your movement range and my attack range are the same. I don't like that. Meteor bolts. Alright, so, uh... We're gonna wait. And we're gonna wait some more. Because what we're gonna do is we're just going to take out and you're obviously going to be able to throw out an ice bullet because you are the king of all dicks. So yeah, that's that's one reason we don't want to just jump headfirst into this fight because I I knew something was going to happen. I just didn't realize it was going to be an ambush. All right, so let's let's move back. Uh, I can take out one caster, so we're gonna do that. I was gonna say, let's move backwards. Well, I can't really move backwards and still maintain an offense with this group. So, uh, let's see. Can I? I can hit two of them. I was hoping to be able to hit more than that. But I can do it twice, so we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that and go for Cyclone 2. Not a lot of damage for that. I was a little disappointed in that, honestly. Let's see. Sky Dart. Let's. Let's take out one of these guys. Except I can't. I can't do nearly enough damage. So. I'm just gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage to him. So, except we can't ever see him because the castle is just conveniently in the way. Alright, what what do we have? Um, I can transform again.
so I can do a little bit of damage. In fact, I'm going to do a little bit of damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something kind of stupid. Uh, we're going to attack... That, that'll do a little bit of damage, and then hopefully we can come in and kill him. Hopefully, like, counter does- yep. God damn it, counter. I knew I should have just stuck with something that counter wouldn't allow to proc, like Scarlet Soil. Ow. That hurt. Ice Bullet, who are you hitting? You're hitting him? Okay, that... Really? Everyone's just going after Beatrix. Everyone's just going after Beatrix. What the hell? Alright, well, I need to heal Beatrix, for one. But now everyone's right up on me. So... We're gonna make sure someone dies. Let's see, Scarlet Soul, 239, I can kill him. And I think I'm going to kill him. And then I think I'm gonna use Leanne to go up and kill the mage. Got a piercing power off of it. And Godspeed, so yeah, she's gonna get to move again. So let's do that. And you're going to die, actually, Skills Thunderbolt. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take full advantage of this to do as much damage as possible, and then oh holy crap! Like I got all of your skill stones, <laughs> and now I'm gonna heal Beatrix with uh with Leanne. And that, that will actually make me a little less freaking paranoid. Alright, so, let's... Let's do this. Meteor Bolt, 130. No, 127, not terrible. Uh, let's... How much damage can I do with this? 79... 79... 107. So I can kill him. Uh, I'm gonna transform with Richard as well. And then I'm going to try to... do a ton of damage. Let's see. Ice Bullet... Ice Bullet will kill him. And then I can... I can kill all but one this turn, I think. I think. Alright, so, let's... Uh... 84... 76... So... Yeah, that's... Let's do this. We'll do Cyclone. And that'll kill him and do a little bit of damage to the second guy. Actually, I might be able to kill him this turn, which would be actually a little bit better than what I was expecting. That's... yeah, I, I should be able to do that, because I should be able to um, do Day of Judgment and take him out that way. 126? Yeah, because you can't counter this. So, you're gonna die. Perfect. And we hit Godspeed at the end to proc, just for good measure. So yeah, that fight. They lull you into a false sense of security, and then they're like, you know what? Screw you. And 640 XP, a thousand, really only a thousand bonus gold. I got that much from just one of the treasures. That's disappointing. Kalei's almost level 40, that's good. 
I'm glad he's finally catching up. Not that I'm using him outside of a number of fights. Um, you're a little bit run down. And they're going to charge the fort. I have a feeling this is not going to end well for us. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was not pleasant. <laughs> yeah, listen to Roger. We need to retreat. I'm just fine. No, no, you're not. I have to be str Yeah. Oh. Sucker punch right in the gut. What? What's glowing on the floor? Leanne's pendant. Oh, hey, look, it's that creepy raven. Alright, are we uh, withdrawing now? Now that there just seems to be a whole bunch of dead people? whole lot of dead people. And the crow goes back to Georges. The attack on Paris failed. How you understand the, the raven, I don't know, but... Alright, he's... Yeah, he's he's a bad guy. I just don't know if he's a bad guy in the sense that he's working with the English or he just doesn't like us. I'm not entirely sure. I I I hit her pretty pretty hard. I don't know what to do anymore. She's been like this ever since the battle. We're going back to Shinon. What happened at Paris? Uh, we lost. Badly. We don't have to fight anymore. A lot of our men died. It was a humiliating defeat. Yeah. You, you lost. That's... Why did we lose? Why didn't you all fight harder? Uh, you really don't want to be blaming them. Yeah. Why do you have to torture me? Poor Leanne. Alright. So now we've got... That's still not open, so I don't know what we're going to be doing with that. Uh, but we do have the uh, Altoid... Altoid? Altoid Prairie. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that before we go back to Shinon. Because um, we can handle this fight. Uh, as much as I really don't want to handle this fight. So let's see. Uh, what... I need to find... The... Tr treasure map for this one. 
Uh, let's see, because the free stages are in a different section. So this fight is one that really isn't fun. Oh, there we go. Okay, wow. That's going to be fun to try to find all the treasure. All right, so we're going to start this fight, and then um, I don't think I'll have nearly enough time to finish it. All right, so skills. She should be good with what we've got, but I could... I forgot we have Jugulaire, uh, Precision Strike on Enemy Vitals. That uh, increases... Um, and then I can also increase uh, damage. Um, but what I want to do is I need to put uh, Cyclone 2 on her. Let's see. I need to give him just whatever I can. We don't need Impale. We need Sweep. And you need Piercing Power 2. And you need a higher attack than what we've got. You don't need the Evade. You do need more MP. Uh, you don't need Fireball. Um, but I don't really think there's too much else I can give you. We'll give you more HP, because you will probably need that. And do we have anything? Let's give higher accuracy. Sweep is really one of the keys to this. Sweep and Cyclone are really the keys to this fight. So, um, let's make sure we've got everyone else taken care of as well. Um, I think we do. Let's see, we've got basically everything on him that we're going to be getting, so... I could switch that for attack plus five, and that's... That's really... You don't need defense, because your evade is already through the roof. So, uh, that should do it. Okay, so yeah. Um, I'm going to save it before we go into this fight, so... Let's see. Just in case we want to get out. Uh, so, I'll start this fight, and then we'll finish this in the next episode. So let's go to the battlefield. So what we've got here is the fight. And as you can see, there's a lot of red, but that's because these are oversized enemies, kind of like the... We've had a couple of golems in this fight. So uh, first we're going to show off the treasures. Uh, there is one there. And I don't know what it... None of this is actually worthwhile. It's all going to be crap. It's either going to be gold... Uh, I need to bring up my actual treasure list. Because I have a treasure... Uh, Kulix, when he, he did everything for me, he was like, Oh, these are the, the treasures for the particular fight. So this is Free Battle 9, technically. So Free Battle 9, it's... Um, oh no, this is actually going to be somewhat useful. So this one is going to be gold. It's either going to be 500, 300, or 800. 50% chance of 500, 40% chance of 300, 10% chance of 800. So that's that. And then we've got... Let's see. All the way over here. One, two, three, four. So right there is going to be... That's the second, I believe. And that's either going to be a Ghetto, Zeno, or Sybil Fruit. And then the very last one is going to be way down here. It's what? Two up, there are three up and four from the side, so it'll be right there. And that's either going to be an Eldish, Urpal, or Rysacor fruit. So, yeah. That's the, the fight that we're going to start. 
And then, like I said, we've got a whole bunch of enemies here that we have not really dealt with that I'm going to take a minute to show off. We've got dragons. They have dragon talons. Uh, they can do tail whip or breath, which is a very wide AO. Like, that is just a, a huge area right in front of them. So we want to be very careful about that. Tail whip is, I think, the three squares in front of them, like that. It may even be farther than that. Not 100% sure. Uh, we have uh, some more of the crows, crow leaders and crow knights. They're just as obnoxious as they were before. We have another new addition, Queen Rogue. Um, she carries a whip. Wild whip. Crack your whip indiscriminately as if possessed by an ice queen randomly attacks a wide area. Sun whip ties up foes after striking them, sometimes paralyzes enemy in addition to dealing damage. Skill snatcher. Uh, filch skill stones the enemy is carrying. We might even snag us one stone at random, loves. Jezebel's slave 2. Play up irresistible assets to seduce the enemy. Makes the user more prone to attack for three turns. So she's obnoxious by any stretch of the imagination. And since it's a whip, I believe it has a two range in front, much like a spear. And then we have more golems, which have body slam, body slam and wallop. The golems aren't much of a threat. The dragons are obnoxious due to their skills, and then everyone else is kind of a pain. So... Yeah. This is this is a fun fight. So, uh, I'm gonna get the fruits, because they are actually worthwhile, and then I'm gonna uh, just kill everything. I'm gonna kill everything as I go, but we're, we're gonna get the treasures. We want the treasures. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next installment, where we will start this fight. So, till then, later, everyone.